Hello everyone, Don with Resolute Outdoors here. Today we're going to take a look at my Die Hard 2400 Lumen flashlight. So a little bit about me and my history with this flashlight. I've had this flashlight for right around three years or so now. Um, I picked it up at Sears. I know Die Hard it used to be a Sears brand. I believe they've since sold it off. You can find these more places. I will put a link to this down below on Amazon. I think it's running for about $38, which I think is a pretty good deal overall. So kind of a little bit about this flashlight, what I use it for and what I kind of think the philosophy is on it. This is definitely what I'm gonna call a home flashlight, something you put in a drawer if you need to work on a project at home or you need to run something outside. Um, some of the main tasks that this will get used for is you know, running out to check the gutters in a rainstorm or running compost out in the evening. If I have you know, something underneath the sink I need to look at um, or work on, it is great for that. It's just too big and heavy. It's about 10 and a half inches or so, and it's about a pound and a half. Too heavy to pack around anywhere or do anything like that. Um, just have like an EDC flashlight or something like that. This is great in a car as well. I haven't used this one in a vehicle, but I have tested this in you know, weather down to four degrees outside at night and it's worked uh, fine, uh, no, no issue. So this would be a good option to put in a car where your size and weight and everything like that isn't really an issue. So a little bit about the fit and finish and construction. This is all aluminum. It is anodized according to you know, what they say about it. It's been fairly durable. There is some scratches here for some drops, but overall I've been very happy with it. The fit and finish is great on it. Um, just a solid feeling flashlight. You got some groove holes here, some flats here with their logo. Um, overall, just a, a really great flashlight in terms of how it looks. Um, now when it comes to performance, it is an LED, so I think some of the, I haven't used any of them, but I think some of the um, more affordable um, mag lights aren't LED in the, the cheaper range. You start to get up in the more expensive options with LEDs. Um, I might be wrong, but I, I, like I said, I haven't used any of those personally, but um, it, it's been great. You have your out and your in, so you can zoom it in by just twisting in and out. Uh, like that, it's, it's positive and it's it's firm but it's not too firm but it's not going to accidentally happen on you um, as far as zooming out you have a very wide field for if you're doing something around the house where you just need to flood an area with light it works great for that and the zoom i'd say probably at like 75 yards is probably about three feet wide or so um, plenty usable for for what i'm doing um, i use this mostly in the backyard to check the back property line uh you know, we're talking about 75 feet, something like that. I think this could really push out pretty close to 100 yards in most cases, decently with it all zoomed in the whole way. You know, if you have a bigger piece of property or something, it might not work as well. I haven't tested it out at extended ranges, but for the normal homeowner, the zoom in and out and the throw and the amount of light it puts off is, is great. So I, I have no complaints with that at all. Um, you do have a beveled, you kind of on your bubble here you have this this texture i mean if you really <laughs> use this as a weapon this is a pretty solid flashlight this would would definitely mess somebody up and i do like how it is flat so you can stand it up um, on both ends this as well on the back end and that's great if you turn it on and you would use it kind of as like a impromptu lantern you can stand it up and then it you know flood an area if you turn it out to the widest possible setting also some features I do like is it has these, um, they're not really lanyard holes, but you could attach a lanyard to them. You could fit some string in there, it would work great. And it is this hooded um, button here, as well as your control button. Now you do have four settings on here. You have your, it goes from brightest, to medium, to lowest, and then it goes to a strobe. Now, if you just click the button, you can click and go from your, from your uh, highest, to your, to your medium, to your lowest, then to your strobe. And if you turn it on relatively quickly, so you can turn it on, it clicks, and then you can just tap it but not click it the whole way, and you can switch through your settings. Now if you do it quickly, you can go, it will cycle through them. But if you, uh, if you turn it on and you let it go for some sort of extended period of time, I haven't timed it, it will go back to the highest setting. So it's not like every time you click through it, 
you're going to go back, you know, on your cycle of high, medium, low. It, after a certain amount of time, it will reset. And when you turn it back on for the first time, it'll just go back to your highest possible setting. So I enjoy that as well. Um, like I said, it's pretty, plenty bright enough. It's kind of hard to see here, um, you know, kind of the difference, but it's kind of the wide to the narrow. But overall, I think this is a pretty solid flashlight for 38 bucks. It's got a lot of good features. Some of the detail work here is really nice. Some of these indents here to be able to turn and, um, you know, hold on and, and adjust. Now, as far as batteries go, see something here, you just unscrew from the back. Cool. It does have an O-ring here. So an O-ring and then there is this plastic gasket, which I dropped, that goes on here to kind of help make sure you push your battery down tight. And the whole battery system actually isn't D batteries like a lot of your mag lights and things like that. It is actually a pack here of nine AA batteries. Now, I there's someone online, <laughs> I've watched a video on it, um, but we're talking about another flashlight that has a similar kind of battery carriage system. I don't know what the, the actual technical term is for it. And they were just railing on it. And I have to say, I think the system is great. Um, if you have one battery that blows up, if you have a problem and the battery goes bad and it, and it explodes on you, a AA battery is a lot going to be a lot smaller mess and a lot less cleanup than having a big D battery. And I know people will say, hey, you need nine AA batteries as compared to um, three D batteries typically for something this size, because obviously you have like your D would be each one of these sets of three would probably be a one D battery. But I think double A's is a lot more common. I mean, double A batteries are the most common battery, at least in my household, and I think in most people's households. So if you have a double A battery and you needed it for this flashlight, you could rob it from this flashlight, uh, or rob it from something else and put it in this flashlight. Um, kind of also as well as you can see, these are the Die Hard brand flashlight or batteries. When I bought this, it came with the batteries. I don't know if it comes with batteries now. I, I'd have to look at the listing to see on Amazon, but these have been great batteries. Like I said, I've used this for three years now, approximately, and this isn't heavy, heavy use, but it, it's, it gets used at least once a week, but sometimes it, get, it gets used more um, if we're checking on the dogs when they're out in the backyard in the evening or something like that. So it, it does definitely get used and it has held up very, very well battery life wise. Also another reason I do like the double A's as well is that if you ever had to in an emergency, you could use tin foil and put in a AAA battery in here if you had to. Um, I know it's not ideal, but it is possible. There's videos online, you can see people doing that as well. So overall, I really do like this flashlight. I think it's a good investment just to have, have around have around the house or just have in your car. Um, for $38, I think it's really hard to go wrong. Like I said, I haven't tried any of the mag lights that would be competitors to this, but um, I'm really satisfied enough with this to say I don't really need to look at any other competition or anything else. This has just done everything that I've needed it to do. So um, I appreciate you guys all tuning in. This is Dawn with Resolute Outdoors. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Also as well, um, we have an Instagram page and that kind of page is reserved for more things that either I'm trying out for the first time or something that I'm doing that's not really video worthy. And what I'll do is I'll just, you know, post a picture up about that over there. Um, especially things that I'm trying for the first time, like different canning recipes and stuff like that. Uh, I don't really like to bring a video to you guys unless it's something that I know how to do and I've done before. Um, and if, I, if it is the first time, I'll definitely tell you um, as well. So I appreciate that, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. Till next time, I'll see you.